I think that in many places people will vote from their values, from what they truly believe is the correct thing. And therefore, they cannot vote for the CPC, which, whose values have changed over the last 20 years to a large extent. Trust uh, conservative order, order. We want freedom like we used to have. And you know what? Uh, they talk only about COVID, COVID. What about people are dying from cancer uh, and all, all those? They, 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 they don't deserve anything, you know? Warning. Censorship. Well, folks, I'm with Jean Jacques de Granet. He is the People's Party of Canada candidate for Ottawa Vanier and uh, Jean-Jacques I mean we're outside the venue that is hosting the leaders debate and I was here two years ago and there was a leader there that time who isn't here this time namely Maxime Bernier what do you feel about the fact that even though the People's Party of Canada is trending pretty nicely in the polls these days your leader doesn't have a space at the debate table I think it's really too bad. I think uh, what it does is that it stops Canadians from hearing that one dissenting voice that is needed for Canadians to be able to make a, 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 a choice, a good choice, based on information. And, and it's just not happening. Therefore, you know, Canadians, unless of course they've been looking to Rebel News or to other uh, of our um, media, will they won't have any idea what to vote for. So that's what the issue, that's why it's too bad. Yeah, it's a shame in Canada. We're supposed to be a democratic state. We have more candidates than the last time. So we have candidates from Vancouver to Halifax to in Quebec, so almost everywhere. So we represent many, many people through the Canada. And Maxime has a, a, a speech to tell, some, some, some things to say to the people. The liberty is one of them. and. We, we lack of liberty right now, we see it. And this is a big issue, we have a COVID issue right now, but uh, we try, uh, they try to silence him. But he won't be silenced. You saw the, what he, what he go, uh, when he go to the West. Yeah. So he had many people willing to listen to him because he has something to tell. And it should be. You are Lucila Miranda. What writing are you running in, Lucila? Yes. Me, uh, I was a liberal for my life. Oh. Then I became conservative, yes, all my life. And I worked for them uh, for the election all the time. And then I became, uh, once I saw Trudeau, I was so happy. I said, Trudeau, then I said, do we vote because we were liberal? Uh, then I heard Mr. Trudeau and I said to myself, that little man, it's a detector. Well, you know, th this is a fascinating story. And so you were a liberal supporter yes. and originally all a Trudeau life, supporter. All my, all my family. What was it that the Trudeau liberals did to, to make you go all the way over to the other end of the political spectrum? Because I have a feeling that Mr. Trudeau and the liberals are doing something here very bad. They want to control us. Okay, I believe on the COVID, but I think it's the way to control people. And why, why Mr. Bernier cannot talk? Why? Why? It's because they want to control people. What is the unspoken reason why Mr. Bernier is not here today? I suppose because he's the voice of dissent. I also suppose it's because he wants to sort of bring back the, uh, bring us back to the, uh, real conservative values where people are free and responsible. And I suppose that our, the, the present politicians that we have right now do not seem to accord very well with that. They would rather people just do what they are told by this government. Mr. Maxim Bernier does not belong to that class of politicians. He believes that Canadians are intelligent, they have the capacity to take decisions, to make decisions that are good for themselves, and by extension for their family and for their community. It must be in the debate, so then the people will have to choose properly what they want 
in the vote for the leader. It's a, we're here for we're here for the Prime Minister of Canada. It's important to hear all candidates as much as possible and uh, uh, much more if they're serious with many candidates from coast to coast. I think Mr. Trudeau have people behind them and they must have something in the bag, something they want to control the Canadians. And he's a man that we cannot trust, and we cannot trust uh, liberals, we cannot trust uh, conservative order, order. We want freedom, like we used to have. And you know what? Uh, they talk only about COVID, COVID. What about people are dying from cancer uh, and all, all, all those? They, 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 they don't deserve anything, you know? You must get this all the time, especially from conservatives. And of course, Maxime Bernier used to be with the Conservative Party of Canada, was yes. a hair away from being its leader in 2019. Right. People will say there are so many ridings that are very close with PPC candidates in the same riding as Conservatives. Mm. There might be, and, and we saw that in the last election, some ridings that go to the Liberal uh, candidate by default. You are splitting the right of centre vote. How do you react to that response? Well, from a personal point of view, I think uh, there's some value to that in certain areas of the country. However, there's many areas where that is probably not true. In fact, it's not just probably not true, it's not true at all. I think that in many places, people will vote from their values, from what they truly believe is the correct thing. And therefore, they cannot vote for the CPC, which, whose values have changed over the last 20 years to a large extent. And so therefore, this is what's gonna carry that. As I said, in certain writings, you have certain candidates that are Probably, well, for example, in Ottawa, Vanier, which has been a liberal writing for a very long time, um, it's probably time to put someone who can speak loud, who can uh, give the proper message across, get the proper message across, and then so, so, so that we actually get someone from with those values, the conservative values, in Parliament in order to ensure that those voices are heard in the House of Commons. Well, fair enough. We'll see what happens on September 20th. If you can believe it, Justin Trudeau wouldn't let our reporters into the debate. We had to sue him in federal court, and we won. If you can help us crowdfund the cost of that lawsuit, please do. Go to letusreport.com. Thanks.